Greetings, my name's Ethanra, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So as promised, and somewhat surprisingly, I was able to get enough jewels for one more pull. So I'm definitely going to get Mr. Incredible, which I guess is alright. Not really all that invested in him. But of course, so the video won't be like three minutes long. I'm also going to do maybe one or two Union Cross runs. Just want to check this out right quick. I'm looking at this and all I see is maths. Okay. I find that very ironic because uh, I actually didn't want Dash and I got Dash and yeah as I said Mr. Incredible of course since it's the fifth pull guarantees you can get him so that's nice let's see Dash here yeah that's kind of too bad I really really wish this has been Miss Incredible. Ah, oh, that would have been so much better. But I'm grateful for the extra guilt. Or Nova, I guess I should call it. So with that in mind... Because the thing I don't care too much about Dash is I think if I've seen his attack and I've believe I have it's one we've seen a dozen times already so that just makes it that much more uninteresting but for the sake of trying him out so at least letting you all see what it looks like if you haven't already I'll go ahead and throw him in there actually hold on the reason why my keyblade looks like this is because it's what I used against Axel and I think I'm on rounds nine or ten I'm not sure Actually, I have better metals I can use, though it's faster, faster, to just optimize for situations like this, when it has that much EXP I gotta throw into it, I'd rather just scroll down and use these much faster. Should do it. There it is. Throwing in these guys. Or this guy. There, done. Actually, no, not technically done because I think I actually have another dash. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have a feeling this is going to be unpleasant. Hmm. For a second there, I thought they were going to give me extra attack power for a metal I don't even want. I was expecting that, I'll readily admit. But okay, we'll see how this Keyblade does.
Well, just to be clear, it's not that I don't like Dash as a character, it's just I don't care for his metal. Miss Incredibles would have synchronized with mine much better than Dash's. Er, synchronized with my kit is what I mean to say. Since my kit is more about surviving while still doing decent damage as opposed to overwhelming damage, uh, I prefer the survivability. fast enough. That's fine. I still got what I wanted. I am glad, like I've mentioned before, that they made these dark corridors permanent. For the most part, they are. They're not on every single level. Like you used Cross last week, I didn't really care too much about because there was like two or three Colosseum levels that were very straightforward. But at the same time, they were so crowded that it was kind of difficult to do the challenges. Like kill X amount of enemy in a certain amount of time. They were actually kind of tricky there. But, oh, and of course, there were no dark corridors either. I believe this one might be back in town. I don't think I've been to... Ag yeah, it's got to be. Yep. As I was saying, though, I don't think I've been to Agrabah. For this week, that's why I wasn't sure where it was. But yeah, I believe Dash is, like I said, one we've seen before, because I remember seeing it. So, don't hold your breath. It's kind of interesting. Only Violet has a... Only Violet has an interesting, or unique, attack animation. But anyway, here's Dash. Yeah, haven't seen that before, have we? Oh, Kiyori. I asked her to let me know why, or rather, what she thought of the Axel event. I don't know how it's possible she caught me twice during recording, though, but I digress. Uh, I guess it's a good way to segue into my next topic, because I did want to talk about... I did want to talk about the Axel event. In general, I really do like it. The only thing I don't like is the fact that, clearly, they're going to make those dual counters a thing now, the blue and red counters. And I'm kind of sad over that, because... I felt when it was happening with Cyax, it made complete and utter sense, obviously, because Cyax is the berserker, the rage guy. So naturally, having two counters you have to worry about, meaning you're twice as likely to trigger his berserk phase or attack, it made sense. It made sense why Cyax would have two counters. Axel's, it really doesn't. As a matter of fact, him absorbing power metals doesn't really make sense. But I can forgive that because it's a unique thing, more or less. Like I said, there's another Heartless that did something very similar, but as far as organization members are concerned, as of right now, it's a unique thing to Axel. But the dual counters, I'm disappointed in because I was really hoping, now that I see Axel has it too, that it just would have stayed with Cyax because it, it would have made more sense. Kind of like how I told you I liked how his metal... Lowered your defenses. It really ties into the whole Berserk thing. You do a lot of damage, but you sacrifice defense in the process. It made sense. So, same thing with the counter for Syax. The dual counters. That made sense. It's much more easier. It's much more... It's much easier. I was making that more complicated than it needed to be. It was much easier to trigger his Enrage because he had two counters. Axel having the same thing does not make sense from a lore perspective. It's just there for a mechanic to make his fight harder. And I don't mind them making the fight harder. I just wish they didn't use something that felt so much more like Syx's gimmick as opposed to Axel having his own. When again, the absorbing power was decent enough. Also, while I'm at it, I really want to check out what Dash actually does. Because the thing goes by so fast, I can't read it. Yeah, so all he does is really lower their defenses and boost your attack for about three turns. So you either want to use him dead last, like on a pet slot, or I guess first? I'm not really sure. Definitely not somewhere in the middle, which, again, is why I said I would prefer to miss Incredible, but I'm done crying about that. Really can't be helped now. I think even if I go through the entire Axel event, I won't have enough to do another banner pull for that. So, oh well. Hopefully, they'll return, you know, not just never be seen again like the World of Final Fantasy banner when it showed up all of 
twice, I believe. Thankfully, I was able to get in on that, but still. And since these medals are so incredibly good, I really hope they return again someday. I'm definitely going to start saving up again. But oh well. Still, I guess if I want, like, really strong attacks, like, dash would be good for my all-out attack. For my all-out attack Keyblade kit. So, I guess there's a plus in that, but in general use, yeah, I'm not going to say it again, because like I said, I'm done. So I didn't mean to go off on a tangent like that, but yeah, I think I made my case clear. So after this one, I'll just go ahead and end the video so I don't ramble on for too much longer or start tripping over my words again. I was trying to give them a chance to kill it. Wait for it. Alright, that'll do it for now. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you around.